This is the model, the incredible little featured pack Power VNS1, the ultimate smartphone accessories for content creators. From video stabilization and professional selfies to photo and video editor, magnetic system and a mini tripod to wireless charging. The Power VN S1 is the ultimate video creation tool, simply a perfect companion for your smartphones. If you love taking videos with your smartphone, then you should consider buying a Power VN S1. You can order it from the powerbn.me website. Its starting price is $229 till $238 and it's available in three different model options. The Power BN S1 is a pocket size gimbal that not only ensures your video footage is smooth, but it has also some additional features you will not find on many other smartphone gimbals. Open the mini tripod located on the bottom of the Power VN S1 and the tripod thread allow for additional mounting options and a secure strand. There is also an optional larger tripod that has a built-in extendable selfie stick. Open the App Store and search Power VN S1. You will find the VN S1 app. Install it and then open it to the Vision S1 app and allow the app to set up your S1 gimbal. Turn on the S1 gimbal and press and hold the power button for 3 to 4 seconds before connecting it and update the firmware. There are a number of tutorial or product information videos in the Vision S1 application and you can also find the user manual for your guidance. Open the Power Vision S1 and see the process on how to convert the gimbal from pocket size power bank. The magnetic phone mount is already attached to the smartphone. Combine this magnetic mount with the S1 gimbal and make sure you align it properly. Once you turn on the S1 gimbal, it will automatically calibrate the phone with the gimbal and with the 5-way button you can move the phone from top to bottom or left to right. Double tap the power button to change the position of the phone vertically or horizontally. 
the VNS1 app is properly installed and let us explore the feature of it and see how it can help us. Once you click on the big red camera button, the camera application will open. The first option on the left side is the light on and off function. At the bottom left you find the camera resolution settings, there you can find the video settings according to the resolution of your camera phone. My phone shows 720p, 1080p or 4K resolution up to 60fps. On the right side we have the option to switch the camera from front to back view. Then there is a menu with shortcut functions and there are several options like the first option is grid with grid lines and diagnostic lines. Then we have some filters that you can set according to your video requirements. Also here you will find the option for the resolution of the video camera that I have already shown you. Below we have the same functions to turn the light on and off which you can also find the options on the left side. Now we have the exposure parameters menu and you can set the shutter and ISO options manually. It's really wonderful for those who want to set the camera settings manually but I prefer the automatic settings. On the right side next to the camera button we have several camera modes like time lapse, slow motion, video mode, photo and panorama mode. On the bottom left side you will find three items that allow you to open the gimbal settings. First we have the tracking mode which has three modes such as tracking, tilt lock and FPV mode which allow you to control the movement of the device. The walk icon is displayed in the top right corner and has several options such as tracking mode and sports mode which help you see your target in the middle of the frame while shooting. Here we find the zoom speed option which offers multiple options like fast, medium and slow zoom speed options. We have other options like horizontal reverse position and vertical reverse option. If your gimbal is not calibrated properly, here you find the auto calibration option which takes few seconds to calibrate automatically. The last option is the horizontal gimbal adjustment. Here you will find the plus and minus option that allow you to manually adjust the alignment. At the bottom right you will find the file explorer option which allow you to access your phone folder. Video editor is also available in this Vision S1 application which is very useful. I have tested different scenarios for wireless charging. We have two types of mode, wireless charging mode and gimbal mode. For gimbal mode you need to press and hold the button for 3 to 4 seconds. Once the green light starts flashing, it means the device is ready to be used as a 3-axis stabilizer gimbal. In the first step, we have to click one time on the power button. When the red light starts flashing, it means the device is ready for wireless charging and can be charged easily with or without the phone case. After I mounted the phone case with the included smartphone, wireless charging no longer works. The Power VN S1 can also be used as wireless charger. This is one of my favorite features because it can also be used as power bank. Just turn on the S1 and place your phone, earphones and you can also use a USB-C cable to charge your devices.
I tested different earbuds, smartphone, headphones or action camera. As you can see, S1 didn't charge one of the earbuds and smartphone when using the USB-C cable. The Power VN S1 is meant to be all-in-one solution for your smartphones. It's a powerful mini 3X's gimbal with the mobile power bank that can be used wirelessly or wired. You can use your smartphone without a fear of short battery life. Its starting price is $229 till $238 and I have placed the Power VN website link down below in the video description. If you are interested in smartphone reviews, click on this playlist. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.